Today we're testing this RoboMaster, the camera, the microphone, wherever it might be, and this speaker on both blacktop outside and in a library on industrial carpet to see how good the speaker and the cameras are. Interested? Here we go. The user manual for this is pretty sparse on the camera. This is where you, you put in the compact card. I'm trying to do this so I can do it with the camera. Comes out like that, falls on the floor. And then to put it in, all you do is slide it in like this. That's it. Here's the speaker system. We're using an iPad. You can move the turtle around like that and it automatically moves the robot. Here's the little record button. You hit that to record, then it keeps going. Even if you lose sync, unless you shut this record button off, it's going to keep going. We're going to put the sound on. You can take a picture with this. No flash. So now we're going to take it outside and see how it does. Here's the description of the setup. The robot is in follow me mode when my son starts walking forward. There it is, he's locked on. So he's gonna start walking forward. The robot is facing directly into the sun. It's a partly cloudy day. It's gonna start running. All the sound you hear, it's almost some ricochet if the robot is going straight. If it's maneuvering from side to side, you almost hear the wheels dragging as the four wheels engage. The video is rather stable. Okay, he's stopped. Now the robot's backing up as he approaches. Now he's walking a little too fast for the robot. And you should see, there you go, an artifact, a black line comes up when he's too close. Now he's gonna pause and let the robot get a comfortable distance away that it typically is in follow me mode. Now watch what happens when he turns 180 degrees out of the sun you can see that the colors are much richer and less blown out. No lens, no lens flaring whatsoever. Okay, so he's going to run. He's going to run a little faster and then he's going to lose link with follow me mode. There. So he's lost link with follow me mode and now the gent in the orange shirt is taking control of the robot in driving it back to where the two boys are standing. Here the subject is the painted rock at a local high school. He's going to control the robot, focus on the rock. You can see that the turret and the camera Paces in that direction, yet the robot is going in a slightly different direction. There it went over a little rumble strip. Now it's in the blacktop of the road. Hopefully, it won't get hit by a car. Then you'll see it hit the curb right there. What I'm trying to show here is it going straight down the road. Fairly straight. A little bit of a ricochet here and there is what I call it. Robot comes to a stop. Now you can hear the wind. The microphones, wherever they are, are facing directly into the wind, so you hear a lot of wind noise. If I could find the microphones, I could put some sort of material over there to cut down on the wind. Here's an interesting video of some bicyclists coming by. Again, you get this little, almost what I call critter mode, cat or dog level, when somebody goes by. Here, it's kind of all over the place. You'll see that he goes over grass. There's the rumble strip. 
Now he's into the rougher road, pops the curb, and then comes down, ends up in the grass. Spins the wheels a little bit. But when it's not on a rough surface, the feedback on the microphone seems to be rather low. And the quality of the microphone sound is much better. Here we're driving into the sun again, but because there's clouds and the sun is now slightly behind the cloud, you get a little bit of lens flare up at the top and the colors are yellowish, they appear to be. But for the most part, it's fairly good video. And once again, the camera is fairly stable. You can see the nose moving up and down on the blaster a little bit, and yet the camera seems a little more stable. Here's another case where the robot gets driven into the grass and you're hearing just the wind. When the robot's in the grass, the wheel sound is pretty much compensated for. It's muffled significantly or it's just a very soft surface. Pretty interesting. There's a case where my son was talking into the walkie so you can see how much of the human voice can be captured from that distance away with the robot microphone. Today we're in a library. Why? Because we want to give this RoboMaster an absolute chance to be as quiet as it possibly can be. Carpeting is fairly uniform. It's industrial pads. When we are outside, very loud. On the carpeting, you automatically notice that all the stray noise coming from the robot is significantly less. You hear a little bit of wheel chatter, but not much at all. When I first watched this video, I was thinking that inside the robot camera was recording kind of more yellow than was naturally there. But you can see as it gets into the brightness of the lights of the library, that maybe it is pretty close to the true color of the library. Now we're going in on wooden floor. It seems to have a little more noise to it than a regular carpet. I take full responsibility for this right here. I didn't see the bar on the chair. Not my son's fault at all. But then you get to see what an impact with the robot is. I was throwing a couple chairs around to, to make it interesting for him. The wood is not that much different than the carpet. I really thought that the wooden floor would have a lot more noise to it. So he's driving through a couple more chairs. We learned our lesson the first time, so I'm avoiding that chair. I really challenged him to drive around the obstacles, really get some interesting perspectives. There he slid into the wall. You can see that at the lower lighting setting indoors that the video is much grainier, not as brilliant and clear and crisp. That's my son driving the robot with his iPad. Heading out to the main part of the library again from the snack area. A lot going on in this library. It's fairly new. It's visually very interesting. For the most part, people just kind of ignored us and let us do our thing. The robot was that quiet. We did pick a time late in the library where it was about to close, so we didn't disturb too many people. Kind of trying to give him some direction here so I can have some visually appealing video. Well. 
Just a little bit of noise of the wheels, not too much as it's ambling along until you do a lateral slide. Then the noise comes up significantly. Why didn't drive between the wall and this couch? Because I thought it would be interesting. We're also doing a 360 video, filming at the same time, trying to get some interesting visuals that way. Going down the hall. A little bit of interest in the carpeting there as you drive along. Gives it some depth. Here I'm setting up for a robot level shot to give you a sense of how quiet the robot is on carpeting. Now I'm kind of trying to do a Star Wars Death Star approach there, tracking through the stacks of books. This was interesting and you have to be real careful. If you pick the robot up, here I was to repositioning it, the wheels will spin and it could just drive right out of your hand. So be cautious of that. This is interesting. You go with a lot of bright light at the beginning of this run down to where these computers are and the lighting changes. And there's a lot of yellow in this library, which is probably giving that yellow tinge to the video. In this video, I wanted to show how quiet the robot is going on the carpeting. And this is about as loud as it gets as it makes the turn. A little interjection here. I did a little more research and I found out that the microphone is right there with this little funneling area. And now that I know that, maybe I can make some sort of screen or wind cover over here to cut down on the noise. I have to think through that a little bit more. Probably going to be a future video. Well, the results were very interesting. Outside, very loud, very sensitive to wind, light. I showed you all the natural settings. Does it work well? Yeah, does it give it your perspective of probably a little animal, cat or dog? Yeah. And for targeting purposes, it's pretty good. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more RoboMaster videos coming soon.